The first band is the passive band, which we call usually the mushroom arch form band because the arch wire looks like a mushroom. And uh, you will see in the demonstration that we can place this band more close to the cuspid if you have spaces or more close to the premolar if you have uh, crowding because the crowding needs as much wire as possible so we will place the band as close as possible to the premolar. In spaces we will get extra wire when we will close the spaces and therefore we will place this band as close as possible to the cuspid. There is another band that we can make near the molar between premolar and molar. One of the ways to avoid this band is to place the bracket on the molar more mesially, where the shape of the molar becomes more narrow and more similar to the premolar. And in that way, you can avoid making this passive band near the molar. You can see here the molar band, and you can see the uh, cuspid band, which create the mushroom shape arch wire. In order to prepare the uh, first wire with the passive bands, of the mushroom shape. I have here uh, two wires, one I will make for the upper, one I will make for the lower, and uh, two uh, models with joy brackets ready for them. These models belong to my assistant, which uh, are going to get the joy brackets uh, hopefully next week. Uh, in order to do these bands, I'm using the light wire uh, plier. As you see, uh, comparing to uh, a different light wire plier, the beaks are much longer. This is very helpful for lingual orthodontics. Uh, this is a 140 or 141, depends on the length of the beaks. I have here uh, a distal uh, wire, distal cutter, that uh, is very small, designed for lingual orthodontics, and a small wire cutter, straight, uh, which sometimes I use as well. So, uh, first of all, we uh, take the wire and put it on the model, trying to see if the shape of the arch looks almost the same like the shape of the uh, wire. And in this case, we are almost okay. Don't forget that this is the first wire, so uh, the wire uh, has some flexibility, usually it's a nickel titanium wire and uh, uh, we will not get all the transverse um, uh, effect from this wire. So, I place the wire in the anterior slot, then we take uh, a pencil designed to mark um, uh, signs on the wire and I will mark exactly where I want the bend. In this case, I didn't bond a bracket on the uh, cuspid because uh, the cuspid has overlap and I cannot place a bracket correctly. So I can place my band somewhere between the uh, lateral and the premolar. The same, we will go here and we place a uh, mark over here. So, we have now two white marks, one over here and one over here, and I will take now the light wire plier, hold it, then give a 45 degrees bend inside, then I change the position of my hands, and depends on how big you want the band to be. You want a small band, I hold it very close. You want a bigger band, I hold it here. And then I push the wire out. It is very important that after you do this band, the posterior part of the wire will be parallel to the anterior part. 
meaning that we come back to the same line. Now I repeat the same. I can see the sign over here. I put a band inside. I change the position of my hands. And I do a bend outside. Make sure that these are parallel. They are not parallel yet. So I correct it a little bit. Now, after I, d I do it, I try to make sure the wire remains flat, as you can see here. Okay. And as you can see, if you carefully check, the uh, right part is a little bigger than the left one. This band is a little smaller than this band. Uh, usually, you, uh, you have to uh, make sure that they are symmetrical. So, now we can check the wire and see if the wire fits to its purposes. Now, the wire now is <clears throat> placed very passive and you can see the line uh, the posterior line which will uh, actually guide where the teeth will go. You can see that I have some expansion in the posterior part of the wire. If this expansion is not required, I can take now these two parts and get them a little bit inside. Let's look at it again. Okay, now it is much better design. Okay, so this is our first wire, which is the mushroom wire. Now, I can add also, if you can see here, for example, in the left side, you can see that the molar is much wider than the premolar. So, again, you remember that we are discussing now passive bands, and passive bands are designed in order to fit the wire to the uh, shape of the arch. So I can now add one more band. So now I have two bands, one between cuspid and premolar, and the other one between the premolar and the molar. The only difference in the upper is that we have to uh, design the wire to fit an upper arch versus a lower arch. So I take the wire and I open the wire to be more wide to fit an upper arch. Now you can compare the two wires. And you can see that now we can repeat the same procedure with an upper arch. Here we will make an in-band and make the wire fit the premolar. And same over here. Let's make it just for demonstration purposes. I can hold the wire and then 
take the plier, put it in the middle between the two teeth and make the bend. And same for the left one. It is always uh, recommended to do the bands when you have long wire and not short because then all the changes you want to do in the wire are very easy to do as long as the wire is long and easy to bend okay let's see it here on the model okay thank you and i would love to see you in my next movies bye bye Thank you.